Hi guys, Saransh here. So today I'll be going to tell you about the most famous engineering institution in the whole world, which is the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, which is MIT. Everybody of uh, the of all the engineers in the world, everybody of them has dreamt at some point of time to go to this institution and study there and use the resources because they they are such abundant in this institution that it is a paradise for any mechanical aerospace or computer science or electrical or electronics any engineer this institution is a paradise we want to study so let us see what kind of education there is what are what the programs they are offering what kind of uh, admission criteria there is what kind of research is going on there so let us talk about all these things in this video okay so we can just call this series of video as an introduction to the universities all around the world so let us call it that okay so now let us go to the education section from the home page and there we'll find schools departments and colleges and uh, they have sorted this thing out in five schools which have several departments so when we'll go to that thing so we'll find under the school of engineering here school of engineering we'll find the departments which there are in mit like aeronautics biological chemical civil data systems electrical engineering and computer science material science mechanical medical and nuclear science so for aeronautics and mechanical engineering MIT is number one institution in the whole world and maybe for not other engineering programs maybe there are other institutions in Germany in Switzerland and Singapore or maybe some some in US as well which are better than MIT in field of maybe chemical civil or uh, medical or nuclear sciences but for aeronautics and mechanical engineering MIT has always been the number one institutions in the whole world so if we go to the department of aeronautics and astronautics yes this is the department which we are going to talk about in this video if we go to this department we'll find various tabs under here so fields of study graduate degrees which they offer admission criteria class schedule affiliated programs forms and student resources so let us see what the fields of study are so aerospace and computational engineering aerospace energy and environment air breathing propulsion air transportation systems autonomy communication and networks controls humans and aerospace and uh, materials and structures space propulsion and space systems so all these things all these research areas there are in uh, MIT in the department of aerospace and you can just open any one of these research areas study more about them find out about the faculties and do all these kind of things in order to know whether this institution is best for you and no doubt it is if you want to go in the field of aerospace but one thing which you have to know about USA is that it is very protective of its uh, technologies and the things which they, which they develop in fields of aerospace and defense so one thing is that uh, if you want to go in the field of aerospace in USA then there might be uh, not a lot of jobs for you because they only give the critical aerospace and defense jobs to the citizens of the, of the United States that thing you have to keep in mind so if you go to uh, USA in field of aerospace then it is possible that you will be res restricted towards just the academic environment you can find job just in the field of academics maybe uh, as a as an assistant professor or maybe a research fellow you can uh, pursue your career there because it will take some time before you get uh, the h1b visa and then you can just apply for the job but till then you can you would have to be satisfied with the academics jobs okay so these are the research fields and you can just uh, click on them to study more about them now let us talk about the degrees which they offer uh, in uh, aerospace engineering 
so the graduate degrees which they offer are master of science which is approximately a two year program you would have to uh, give an english evaluation test technical writing requirement will be there math requirement will be there and all the other things like uh, the credits which you have to earn minimum number of credits minimum cumulative grade point average so th those all things will be there then there is the doctoral program and uh, it is the phd doctor of philosophy or doctor of science program also it is there so there are other requirements for this thing so these are the fields of study which they offer okay so now let us let us talk about the admissions which are uh, there in uh, mit so they only offer the fall admission and they do not offer the spring admission and for the fall admission the application deadlines close on december 15 every year and the fall semester starts from september 1 so uh, this year the fall september uh, fall semester will start from september 1 2020 and if you want to go to mit you would now the chance will be in september 1 2021 and you have time till december 15 to apply so this is it and then uh, we should talk about definitely the important thing is admission criteria so what all things which you would you uh, would you require you would require prior degrees like your bachelor's degree then you would require a good cgpa you would require at least three letter of recommendations and you have you would have to submit the through the electronic uh, application system then you would have to give your gre exam and uh, you would have to also give your toefl exam and you would write your statement of objective that is also called the statement of purpose now your pdr can help you in all these things we are going to launch our gre and toefl module for preparation for GRE and TOEFL exams and we already provide support for writing LORs and statement of objectives we provide support for all these things and uh, this is our consultancy service for foreign education you can go on to our channel which is yourpedia.in and check out our foreign consult consultancy package which is under the phd after mtac tab you can just check it out from there we shortlist the universities according to your requirements we uh, provide you guidance with your sops we provide you guidance with your gre and TOEFL exams we provide you guidance with your lors and everything everything is taken care of in that package and these and this thing you have to remember that you have to meet all these criteria if you want to apply there now let us check the funding opportunities which are there like how can you fund your masters or phd degree so there are research assistantships there where you uh, where they will uh, pay all your full tuition suppose if you apply for a research assistantship then what benefits are you going to get there is the full tuition fee will be paid you will get health insurance you will get monthly stipend so all these things you will get for your research assistantship and most of the phd uh, program uh, guys who want to pursue their phd and who have gotten admission in their phd are given research assistantship then there is uh, aero astro diversity fellowships now aero astro is the name of the department department of aerospace in uh, mit is called aero astro so they give uh, diversity fellowships as well then there is the teaching assistantships this pays full tuition health insurance monthly stipend and all these things are paid under teaching assistantship and the uh, people who go for the master of science program generally get these types of assistantships and there are 20 of these positions in the aerospace department each year and the other thing which you can remember is that if you do not get a teaching assistantship in the aerospace department there are other departments as well where you can apply but you would have to face the competition so that is the thing there then there is the mit sponsored fellowship this pays full tuition health insurance and monthly stipend and you would have to show some very good academic achievements for this fellowship then there is external fellowships so there are many other fellowships as well uh, standalone fellowships like the nasa the amelia Earhart fellowship gem fellowship which you can apply for and 
if you meet the requirement criteria, then there is a chance that you can self fund your whole experience of Master of Science and PhD degree from USA. So there are many uh, options for your funding there, and it is not just that you would have to uh, uh, you would have to you know pay that amount just by yourself. So these are th these are the things and. The most important thing which some people ask is, sir, uh, what uh, what is the GRE score or what is the TOEFL score uh, I, I would require in order to apply there, whether uh, in, at which score would I get the admission. So we can just go on to this website and find it, our, uh, find it out ourselves. So it is written here that the GRE scores for the average GRE scores for fall 2018 were in quantitative aptitude. 166 out of 170 in verbal aptitude 162 162 out of 170 and in analytical writing 4.5 out of 6 so this was the average scores of the students who were admitted to the master of science program in this department then the average TOEFL scores were 111 on the IBT then uh, the IELTS score was 8.0 so if you want to uh, apply to the program of aerospace engineering in MIT then this much you have to score just keep in mind okay but on their official side they want at least a score of 100 on TOEFL and at least a score of 7 on IELTS test so this is uh, the information which they have uh, on their website okay so this was uh, it for aerospace department of MIT and uh, your PDA can give you the support which you need if you want to do your master of science or PhD from abroad and uh, please uh, guys you can just uh, check it out to yourselves uh, all those things which I have talked about it is right there on their website and you can check out the research criteria and you can also check out our website which is yourpedia.in then you can go on to purchase our package and we'll start the consultancy right away so if you want to go for a PhD or an MS in USA or maybe in Germany maybe in Singapore UK anywhere in the world yourpedia is always there to help you out okay so please share this video as much as possible with your friends and with your colleagues so that this information uh, is passed on to uh, as many number of people as there are and uh, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for all the future updates. Thank you.